A typical Italian dessert made with wine is called zabaglioni. Usually it is made with Marsala wine, but today I'm going to make a zabaglioni made with Moscato wine. You could also use another fruity wine such as Riesling if you happen to like that. I've got a pan of simmering water here, and then in this bowl I have seven egg yolks. To that I'm going to add a third of a cup of sugar and a half a cup of the Moscato. And what, you, what I'm going to do is after I blend this, I'm going to put this over the simmering water and with a handheld mixer, I'm going to beat it until it gets light and fluffy. And that's your zabaglioni. And I'm going to show you another little twist when I'm done. So that's pretty well mixed up. And we go to the mixer. So I'm going to make some noise now so I won't talk as much. Here we go. That's about right. I'm going to remove it from the water. And now, with a typical zabaglioni, right now you would take this and pour it over your fruit and serve it warm. But I'm going to do a little twist, as I told you, is I'm going to put this over an ice bath. And I'm going to whisk it a little bit. And then I'm going to go and get a cup of whipped cream and fold it in. So, be right back. Take the zabaglioni out of the ice bath. I've got my one cup of whipped cream, which I'm going to add. Put that over here. Now I'm just going to fold it in. This is almost like an ice cream base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve this over some strawberries. And then I'm also going to take the rest of it and I'm going to put it in separate dishes and I'm going to freeze it like an ice cream. Okay. I think that's about right. I've got a few dishes here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to fill. I've got some strawberries and I'm going to serve this with a dollop of the zabayon. A little shaving of really good chocolate. And Pam made these um, candied lemon or uh, orange peels. I'm going to serve a couple of those. These are nice. They're nice and crunchy. They're so good. They just add a little extra touch to the dish. So there is our zabaglioni over the strawberries. And then now, I'm going to put some of these in the bowls. And I'll take a little spatula and I will smooth over the tops of these. And they go right in the freezer. And about an hour after they've been in the freezer, an hour or more, we can take them out and eat them for a our dessert. And what you could do is make this earlier in the day so that you have it for dinner that evening. So those will go in the freezer. I'll garnish those with chocolate and some fresh strawberries later on. So there is our Zabaglioni with Moscato wine and cream.